Welcome back to the channel, folks. Bug Biddle. Ben Barber. What's going on, dude? Good to see you again. You as well. Today, we are here with our friends at Auto Collection of Nashville, or Nashville, of Murfreesboro. And uh, what do we have here, Bug Biddle? Uh, ben Barber, we have a really kind of special Maserati here today. Uh, this may uh, not be a familiar car to a lot of you, but uh, this is a 2004 uh, Maserati Cambio Corsa. I believe okay. one of 100 that made it to the United New States. Nice, okay. And one of two currently for sale in the United States. One of two the, coupes, okay. There's a, I believe there's a couple convertibles. But so this one came with, if y'all, the thing that y'all may be familiar with is the engine. This came with the Ferrari engine, right, Bobito? That is correct. And it was about 390 horsepower worth of uh, engine and 333-ish foot-pounds of torque. From 4.2 liters. 4.2, and this thing came 37-ish, 100 pounds, so it's pretty quick. Pretty quick for, uh, for, an, for, for what, a 2004 model. So it sounded good when we were rolling around at it. The front end, kind of very unique. I love this trident right here, right in the, off the bat. But uh, let's do what we normally do. We'll start on the boot or the oh, trunk. Oh, the boot. Or whatever it is that you would call where you put all your luggage. Well, this is a little old school, so we might have to do it a little differently here. Yep, it's open. You just need to pull it up. Oh, okay, there we there go. There we go. So it does oh. have a car cover and oh. a trickle charger. Yes. Which is awesome. Very nice. Not a ton of room, but just enough room for that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much just enough room for your car cover. cover. Uh, definitely not the long trip car. Battery back hey, here. The battery is back there to distribute the weight properly, which is nice. Uh, so a small trunk, uh, kind of what you would expect from this car. Uh, Bo Biddle, why don't you hop in there, start this sucker up, give her some revs. Uh, I and, will be happy to do that. And then we'll go and inside. Barbara. Remember folks, this thing does have a Ferrari engine. So expect, or I expect, some decent noises to be coming from this end of the vehicle. That's nice. And just so y'all know, we have warmed this car up, so. That sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. How's it sound in there, Bobito? Ben, it sounds great from sounds my perspective. How does it sound back there? It sounded awesome. All right, stay in there. I'll be in there in a second. Just want to quickly show you all uh, the cool little design for the stereo back in the back here. Uh, the fuel gate or the fuel filler is really high in this car uh, on the arch line. Just to kind of start where we normally start, door cards look amazing. What is that, like a blue, dark blue stitching or yeah. gray, I guess? And uh, Ben... That stitching was an additional option oh, on, on this, this car. particular car. Okay. That is correct. So the blue stitching uh, was chosen by the, the customer. Blue stitching, nice. And I love, like, this is an old car, man, but I love the look of this. Ben, it feels great. Like, these seats feel amazing. There's good side bolster support. Um, heated, heated seats, too, I noticed. The heated seats was also an additional option. There was a, there was a lot of uh, boxes checked on this car. It's a cool looking dash too, man. The dash is custom. You kind of expect for being with a 16 year old car, like this isn't gonna be amazingly new, but I do like how all the buttons, knobs are there so you can quickly get the AC turned on. This is different. This a lot of people everywhere might here. remember this uh, from some of these old uh, old cars. Weird Manatito, like what is it? Drive is forward, park Correct. is down, and then what you lift up for reverse, well, I believe, something of that nature. Right, and then in, to engage neutral, you have to pull back on the paddles oh, yeah, at the right. same it is time. A paddle, paddle car, okay. So it, do, it drives automatic and with paddles, I guess. Yeah. Now, nice clock too. I love the look of that clock. Ben, I don't know if you can get a good oh view, but this this roof. Uh, the headliner with this leather headliner was a, a, a an option that leather was options. checked by the customer when they originally ordered it. God, so I think it's nice, really, really dude. nice touch. <laughs> it's so nice. It has a very kind of uh, vintage feel to it. It's like very elegant. Pop out yeah. of that. Pop the pop the hood. I'm gonna come and check out that driver's side. This wood too, folks. This wood looks amazing as well. Oh wow, that door shuts with 
conviction. That door shuts with really nice conviction. Just kind of give you the driver's view. Steering wheel is nice. I do like the wood and the leather combo. The pedals look amazing. And again, this is a big old comfortable seat. Uh, ben, ah, I need, definitely has bolsters though, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. some decent bolsters. And Ben, can I show you here, the Come center on, console right there, that is actually the CD player. This oh, is where you put the CD in. In here. Correct. Okay. Have you ever seen anything like that? I have not, and probably for good reason. <laughs> it, does have, it does have a nice door card space for your phones or your whatnots. This, and Ben Barber, the working end, the crown jewel of this automobile. Look at that. That is. I just shove that thing in there, and as you can see, it's a little crooked. Like it's not straight on. Uh, but they did what they had to do to get this motor in here, which is awesome. Really cool looking motor too. That is a. I love this one of the most beautiful engines. Texture finish they have on the intake manifold. It's got the assembly date and everything on there for assembly code. Really legit. Wow. That's a clean engine bay too, right, Bobo? I mean, it is. It's very clean. Awesome car. It's well, not bouncing around. It's very, very smooth. Zero sixty in this thing's what low fours, something of that nature. Nothing like crazy fast. I believe it was kind of on par with the M5 at the time. Okay, there you go. Uh, Good so, comparison for these folks. It does have nice brakes. It's a lot of rotors. The wheels are nice too, uh, overall. Now let's talk brass tacks. This car was over $100,000 new in 2004. You can see the interior has been kept in such a great shape. Uh, Bo Biddle, what, what's the price? Tell us. Uh, ben, if can I were I'm getting this car for less than 25 grand. Yeah, wasn't really this what thing like know. right at 20 grand or so? 21? You said 21.9. 21.9 so like, for this? This is pretty affordable. You can definitely still get loans on cars from 2004 too. Uh, and uh, I think this is a heck of a car for the money. A lot of people might be concerned about the service and maintenance that'll come along with it but you don't buy these cars well, you know those, if that's those ferrari engines the f430 is a really good motor <coughs> excuse me again i almost got hit thanks for beeping dude thanks for beeping he said he didn't want to hit me but clearly he wanted to make noise so all right folks that's all we have for you on uh this car again it's available from our friends at auto collection of murfreesboro Check them out. Information is listed below. Uh, I guess for Bo Biddle, my ben Barber. name is Ben Barber, and we will see y'all in the next video.